Ms. Murkowski, Ms. Murkowski. Aye. Mr. Thune, Mr. Thune. Aye. On this vote, the yeas are 71, the nays are 26. Three-fifths of the senators duly chosen and sworn, having voted in the affirmative, the motion is agreed to. Madam President, Madam President. Majority Leader. Madam President, could we have order? Madam President, could we have, could we have order? Madam President, I'm giving fair warning to everyone. We've gotten very nonchalant about coming to vote. We're going to, we have an extra five minutes. And we're not going to extend that in the future. It's not fair to everyone else who gets here on time. So everyone is on notice. We're going to cut the votes off at 20 minutes. People come straggling in eight, ten minutes late. It's just not going to work anymore. And it will affect Democrats and Republicans. Okay. Um, this will be the last vote of this week. We will more than likely be in session tomorrow. Uh, there will be no votes tomorrow. If there are people who want to offer amendments, the two managers of this bill, uh, Senator Johnson and Kirk, are here. They're here tonight. Uh, we uh, have this, this vote coming up will be the last vote of the week. Questions on the motion to waive? Yeas and nays? Is there a physician second? There appears to be. There is a sufficient, next, su sufficient second. The clerk will call the roll. Mr. Akaka. Mr. Alexander. Ms. Ayotte. No, we're getting off. Yes. Yes, sir. Mr. Brasso. Mr. Bacchus. Mr. Baggage. Mr. Bennett, Mr. Bingaman, Mr. Blumenthal, Mr. Blunt. Mr. Bozeman. Mrs. Boxer. Mr. Brown of Massachusetts. Mr. Brown of Ohio. Mr. Burr. Ms. Cantwell, Mr. Cardin, Mr. Carper, Mr. Casey, Mr. Chambliss, Mr. Coates. 
Mr. Coburn, Mr. Cochran. Ms. Collins, Mr. Conrad, Mr. Coons, Mr. Corker, Mr. Cornyn. Mr. Crapo. Mr. Dement. Mr. Durbin, Mr. Inzi. Mrs. Feinstein, Mr. Franken. Mrs. Gillibrand. Mr. Graham. Mr. Grassley, Mrs. Hagen, Mr. Harkin, Mr. Hatch, Mr. Heller, Mr. Hoven, Mrs. Hutchison, Mr. Inhofe, Mr. Inoue, Mr. Isaacson, Mr. Johans, Mr. Johnson of Wisconsin, Mr. Johnson of South Dakota, Mr. Carey, Mr. Kirk, Ms. Klobuchar, Mr. Cole, Mr. Kyle, Ms. Landrieu, Mr. Lautenberg. <laughs> Mr. Leahy. Mr. Lee. Mr. Levin. Mr. Lieberman, Mr. Luger, Mr. Manchin, Mr. McCain, Mrs. McCaskill, Mr. McConnell, Mr. Menendez, Mr. Merkley, Ms. Mikulski, Mr. Moran. Ms. Murkowski. <laughs> Mrs. Murray, Mr. Nelson of Nebraska, Mr. Nelson of Florida, Mr. Paul, Mr. Portman, Mr. Pryor, Mr. Reed of Rhode Island, Mr. Reed of Nevada, Mr. Risch, Mr. Roberts, Mr. Rockefeller, Mr. Rubio, Mr. Sanders, Mr. Schumer, Mr. Sessions. I got you. Yeah. I got you. Mrs. Shaheen, Mr. Shelby, Ms. Snow, Ms. Stabenow, Mr. Tester, Mr. Thune. Thank you. Mr. Toomey, Mr. Udall of Colorado, Mr. Udall of New Mexico, Mr. Vitter, Mr. Warner, Mr. Webb, Mr. Whitehouse, Mr. Wicker, Mr. Wyden. Senators voting in the affirmative, Akaka, Baucus, Begich, Bennett, Bingaman, Blumenthal, Boxer, Brown of Massachusetts, Cardin, Carper, Casey, Cochran, Conrad, Coons, Crapo, Durbin, Feinstein, Franken, Gillibrand, Harkin, Johnson of South Dakota, Carey, Kirk, Klobuchar, Cole, Landrieu, Leahy, Manchin, McCaskill, Menendez, Merkley, Mikulski, Murray, Nelson of Nebraska, Nelson of Florida, Reed of Rhode Island, Reed of Nevada, Rockefeller, Sanders, Shaheen, Stabenow, Tester, Udall of Colorado, Udall of New Mexico, Webb, Whitehouse, and Wyden.
Ms. Cantwell. Ms. Cantwell, aye. Senators voting in the negative. Alexander, Ayotte, Barrasso, Blunt, Bozeman, Chambliss, Coburn, Collins, Corker, Dement, Enzi, Graham, Grassley, Heller, Inhoff, Isaacson, Johans, Johnson of Wisconsin, Kyle, McConnell, Paul, Portman, Rubio, Shelby, Thune, Toomey, Vitter, and Wicker. Mr. Lautenberg, aye. Mr. Warner, aye. Mr. Lee, Mr. Lee, no. Mr. Cornyn, Mr. Cornyn, no. Ms. Murkowski, Ms. Murkowski, no. Mr. Lieberman, Mr. Lieberman, aye. Mr. Hoven, Mr. Hoven, no. Luger, Mr. Luger, no. Mr. McCain, Mr. McCain, no. Mr. Coates, Mr. Coates, no. Mr. Crapo, no. Mr. Sessions, Mr. Sessions, no. Ms. Hutchison, Mrs. Hutchison, no. Mr. Inouye, Mr. Inouye, aye. Ms. Snow. Ms. Snow, no. Mr. Levin, aye.
Mr. Pryor. Mr. Pryor, aye. Mr. Rish, no. Mr. Brown. Mr. Brown of Ohio, aye. Mr. Schumer. Mr. Schumer, aye. Mrs. Hagen, Mrs. Hagen, aye. Yeah, I know. Are there any senators in the chamber who wish to vote or to change their vote? On this vote, the yeas are 56, the nays are 40. The motion to waive is agreed to. Without objection, the senator from Illinois. I move to waive the motion on the table. Done. Without objection. Madam President. The Senator from Hawaii is recognized. Madam President, I'm pleased that the Senate could, will begin consideration. Could we please have an order for the Senator from Hawaii? Senator from Hawaii. I'm pleased that we're beginning consideration of the FY 2012 Military Construction and Veterans Affairs Appropriations Bill. Madam President, this bill was passed out by the Committee on Appropriations 
by unanimous vote of 30 to 0. And it is the hope of the committee that such strong bipartisan support will continue as the full Senate debates this measure and that we'll be able to consider germane amendments in a reasonable period of time, pass the bill, and move on to a conference with the House. As we continue to debate the larger fiscal challenges our nation faces, I would like to note that the level of funding in the seventh mark of this Milcon VA bill is consistent with the level of funding in the House passed measure. I'd like to thank Chairman Johnson and Vice Chairman Kirk for their brilliant work in producing a bill that provides essential support to our veterans, our active duty military, and their families. The resources provided in this bill will fund vital construction projects and will ensure that our wounded veterans and warriors receive the excellent care they deserve. Madam President, it's good to note that we are moving the first of our fiscal year 2012 appropriations bill under regular order. As I've said on numerous occasions, the best way to ensure that every taxpayer dollar is spent wisely is to move our 12 bills through the committee, the full Senate, to conference with the House, and through final passes in both chambers. Our ability to work together on this important bill serves as a reminder that bipartisan compromise can be achieved by the United States Congress, even in the most difficult of budget environments. It is my hope that the spirit of bipartisanship embodied in this bill will serve as a model for the remaining FY 2012 appropriations project. So I wish to congratulate Chairman Johnson and Vice Chairman Kirk for their efforts, and I look forward to returning to the floor at the earliest possible date for the next appropriation measure. Madam President, I thank you, and I yield the floor. Yes, the Senator from Mississippi. Madam President, let me uh, thank the distinguished Senator from Hawaii for his kind words about the management of this bill. I want to join him and his congratulations to the two managers. We appreciate their hard work. The committee had extensive uh, hearings and review of, of, of all the appropriations bills that we're going to be taking up in a public hearing process, open for comments, opportunities for people to express their views, and they've done that in a diligent and careful and responsible manner. Uh, I think it's a credit to the Senate that uh, we have passed this bill today. We look forward to continuing to work our way through uh, all of the appropriations bills that come under the jurisdiction of the committee. And I especially want to thank my friend from Hawaii for his leadership. The clerk will call the roll. Mr. Kaka.
I ask you to consent to dispense with the uh, quorum call and uh, move uh, as if in morning business. Without objection, so ordered. Madam President, uh, I wanted to rise while we're waiting for um, uh, authors of their amendments to come to the floor uh, on a uh, point of personal business to eulogize uh, one of my mentors in politics. State Representative Betty Lou Reed uh, died this week, and she was uh, somebody that. Uh, many of us in northern Illinois uh, looked up to. Uh, Betty Lou Reed uh, served uh, from her home community of Deerfield, Illinois. Uh, she knew uh, Senator Everett uh, Dirksen well and helped out in his uh, campaigns uh, for re-election. And she was someone that uh, practiced the art of politics uh, from the fiscally conservative side uh, but the ideological uh, center. She was someone who uh, was a um, role model uh, for many of us at the township, at the state, and especially at the federal level. I first met her after she had retired from our state legislature in Springfield, Illinois, uh, when she served as the district director for Congressman uh, John Porter. I remember on a long uh, visit to, in which she was uh, showing me the congressional district where I grew up in from a political point of view. And as we passed by the Zion nuclear reactor, uh, she said, uh, whatever your feelings from, sh from sh college buddy boy, here we're pro-nuclear power. And began to uh, introduce me to the 
politics, especially of Lake County, Illinois. Betty Lou Reed was someone who liked to drink her bourbon and branch water, as she called it, uh, regularly in the evening, telling old war stories about how things were done in Springfield, Illinois. She was always uh, kind and considerate, and I never really heard a swear word from her, ever, despite the rough language that's used both in Springfield and in, uh, in uh, Chicago. Uh, her husband uh, was a, a staunch supporter of hers and always available uh, for the, uh, uh, the continuous set of parades and public meetings that she went through. She guided us especially in the consideration of the first base closure and, and uh, a realignment committee in which Fort Sheridan, Illinois, uh, next to her uh, home district, uh, was the poster child given its uh, a high value and golf course next to Lake Michigan uh, for disposal. We went through a number of proposals like bringing in a prison or uh, homeless shelters, etc., but finally came to a mutually agreed upon solution of a set of public buildings, parks, and additions to Lake Forest, Highwood, and uh, Highland Park. Probably her greatest legacy was in supporting and teaching uh, a young congressman from our area, Congressman John Porter. Uh, the ropes and guiding him through difficult elections and tough partisan times. I served as Congressman Porter's chief of staff while she, as she put it, garnered the real votes back home and took care of business. Betty Lou uh, lost her husband a while ago and passed away this week. Uh, many of us in northern Illinois remember her uh, not just as a trusted uh, public official and congressional staff member, uh, but as someone who taught us the ropes, and taught us the ropes even from Chicagoland of how to exercise the art of politics, maybe more gently and uh, with better language uh, than our predecessors. I very much will miss uh, Betty Lou Reed. Uh, I know Congressman Porter uh, shares this, as, as many of his staff and the political families of Northern Illinois. And I wanted to take this moment today in the Senate to mark her passing and say how very much uh, we will miss her. And with that, Madam Chairwoman, I yield back and would once again suggest the absence of a quorum. The clerk will call the roll. Mr. Akaka.